So there's been uh, this RNN network, uh, recurrent, I think, neural network going around, generating cars for Magic, for Hearthstone, and other card games. Um, it wasn't designed for that originally, but people have adapted this network to do it. Uh, basically, it takes the input from the cards that you put in there, and then it like mangles them up and kind of mad libs them together to create cards. So I ended up you know, generating some of my own, and so here are uh, 10 of them that uh, made a bit of sense because uh, a lot of them end up being very gibberish, but uh, these are, uh, include some of my five favorites as well as some that just, you know, I thought would be interesting to share. Brass Clays. Three red, one colorless. Choose target creature or player. And it's a sorcery, so you can't even cast it instantly. In case you're wondering, no, there is no other effect. You simply choose a target creature or player. Cry Monison. Monison? Either way. Sorcery. One black. Except it has a tap symbol. Not sure how you accomplish that, but it says, Add one mana of any pay. Cast this music. Enchanted land. It deals double that damage to that creature with the same name as that creature. Instead, search the top creature card as though it had flash. The flavor text I added was, Trying to play this card will make you cry. Yeah, some of these you can interpret them in certain ways and make something playable. I am not sure what you do with this one. This one is my favorite of the lot. Ecornate Imp. One white, two colorless. This is a creature. Human. Wizard. Yes, human. Um, tap. This deals one damage to each creature you control. It's a 1-1. One, one. So, it's... At a glance, it seems perfectly normal. It doesn't have any weird words. All the verbiage makes sense. Except that it's a human imp. And when you tap it, it kills itself along with a bunch of other stuff that you control. Yeah. Next is Into Gravald. I like saying that. Uh, one red, two colorless. It's a creature. A satyr shaman. Uh, it's a free two. It has heroic, which in this case means whenever you cast a spell that targets this, put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. Whenever this blocks or blocks, because apparently there's two types of block, remove one of your life total. They can't be regenerated. Necrentic. Two green, three colorless. Sorcery. Reveal the top three cards of your library. Then put the rest into your graveyard. If you cast this color, that creature's controller may sacrifice this. Don't know what the second line means, but the first line I'm pretty sure means you lose. Assuming you like milling yourself, this is a perfectly great card. I'm sure there's some combo thing you could do though, with the graveyard and all that, but yeah. Runner's Sir. Two blue, two colorless. It's a bird beast creature, 4-4, four, four. so you know, two, two blue and two for a 4-4 four, four is pretty good. That's fine. When this enters the battlefield, target player loses one life and draw four cards on the bottom of your library in any order. So there's a drawback. They get to draw cards from your library, which is actually kind of interesting. Star Talon Brook. They set that kind of like river broke, but it's broke as in broken. One blue, two colorless is an enchantment with cumulative upkeep of two, which I don't know if it's a common mechanic nowadays, but it's pretty old school. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its creature's untap step. Uh, there's quite a few cards like that, uh, usually for cheaper, I think. Uh, as in, you know, no cumulative upkeep. And then enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and is flying. So it buffs them as a drawback, as well as cumulative upkeep as a drawback. So. Next, we have a one black sorcery, Suppliant of the Firecap. Review the top five cards of your library, and then you may discard a card at random, then discard that card. Because discarding twice is better than discarding it just once. Of course, you can't discard cards that are not in your hand, I think. So the top five reveal cards is kind of what you get, and then you pay for it by discarding a card. Next, we have an angel creature, Tuti Akromak. Two blue, one colorless. I 
It's a 3-3. Whenever enchanted creature becomes the target of a spell or ability, then that player shuffles his or library. The text is kind of awkward. I'll pretend it doesn't say enchanted creature. I say, I'll pretend it just says when this creature becomes the target of a spell ability. In which case, you get to shuffle your library if it becomes targeted. And I added the flavor text in there that says, I heard you like shuffling because this is what happens with this card. 3-3 um, three, three is not bad. Not flying angel. Kind of awkward. Wildfire. Uh, as I say in my added flavor text here, that this is pretty wild. It is one white, sorcery. Search your library for a basic land card. Review those cards and haunt life this way. That creature's controller puts all other than you did shrite. You may have noticed I said two non-words in there, Han and Shrite. That is, in fact, what the card says. Um, we can pretend that Han is game and did Shrite. I don't know. So there you have it, 10 generated cards. Uh, I'll probably be doing a few more of these as I uh, had a lot of fun actually generating them and reading them and trying to make sense of the cards. Um, let me know if there are any particular ones you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time.